just focus so right here we're gonna hit one leg uh, box jump but we're gonna bend at the hip using your hip and going through but you land it with two feet so you don't put too much stress on your knee when you're going up on one individual leg because you just look heavy you don't want your knee to give out or such you know so we're gonna do four so down here one Left leg. Uh, pogo. So first jump on the second jump, you want to jump higher. So pretty much like one. Okay. So on the second jump, you want to jump high. So one. Boom. Okay. Let's go. But I seen much result from it. You know, just getting my leg a lot stronger because in the way that you also change direction so you come from a seated position and one leg up like this leg up so i'm going to jump off my right leg i'm going to boom jump and boom okay and we're going to do three on each side okay okay let's go for it boom ah, one Left side. Okay. All right. I'm bad on my left side from the meniscus injury, and my left side is just weak. In general, uh, try to get the best out of it. It's difficult, but this uh, plyometric workout here is by far one of the best plyometric workout that you can be doing if you're training for a higher vertical or learning how to jump or you want to jump higher. So pretty much have one leg here. You jump in the air, you want to switch, okay? Jump switch. And try to keep your posture. I know it's very difficult. And try to stay in line and not just jump everywhere. And just use all that momentum that you're creating from the bottom, right? When you come down and take everything up. And try to do about 8 to 10 reps of this. No more, no less. I don't think you will need more than that. And between your resting period, you want to have at least maybe two, 2 minutes or 3 minutes rest break. So boom. Here.